It's the morning. Already you have a million things to do. You've slept past the alarm and now time is ticking. You wash, you dry, you rummage through your drawers, underwear, socks, everywhere. Next up is the outer layers, trousers and a shirt. And that's it, time's up. See you later. What if there was another way? Hi, I'm Nick. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I managed to avoid wasting time and energy in the morning by decluttering and minimalizing my wardrobe. I hope you stick around. If not for the guidance, then perhaps for the promise of more nudity. You filthy When you use the phrase minimalist, some people associate it with only having a few items of clothing. See you tonight! This is not the case. Most of the time. In reality, you can make minimalism into your own philosophy. After many years of rushing around in the mornings and having to make up the time on the way to work driving like a Formula One driver, I'd had enough. I've spoken before about the influence that Matt Diabello has had on me. Many of you may not be familiar with Matt, so I've left the link to his YouTube channel in the description to this video. Go check him out, but not of course until you finish watching me. This is my go-to t-shirt I wear pretty much every day. I have 12 of them. Unlike Matt, I can't get away with wearing a grey t-shirt every day. For me, it's a shirt and tie to work, so I had to come up with a process that works for me. To be able to effectively organise my clothes, I first had to create some space. Removing clothes that I hadn't worn for a long time, or was never going to wear, freed up space in my drawers and on my clothes well, and that meant there was room to be able to see the clothes that I actually wanted to use. That extra space was like opening up the curtains on a clear summer's day. That's a good analogy. So, it started, like most things do, with pants. The first thing you put on after a shower. If you're one of those people that put socks on first, seek help. Organising underwear and socks only took me a few moments, but was just the start I needed. I keep my favourite comfy garments at the top, but of course everything gets cycled through as the week goes on. I have my workout related gear at the back. Cut up shoe boxes can also be used as an extra layer of organisation. Clearly, this isn't my drawer, so leave the comments box alone. Back into grown-up world, and the next thing to get sorted was my work clobber. Trousers hung up at the front of the queue, belt attached, or if the trousers are being washed, the belt folded up and put with my ties. Sunday evening, after the ironing is done, I'll hang my shirts and choose which ties go with them. If you don't have a hanger to allow for this, you could simply use a clothes peg. This minimalises waste of time in the mornings. It's just like having everything laid out for me but hung up instead. Even at the weekend, having space to pick clothes out is simplified because everything is clearly visible and easily accessible. Even my drawers are organized to allow for picking the right clothes with minimal fuss. I used to have so many clothes that I just kept for no reason. Even clothes from my good old fat days and they took up a lot of space. I think if you spend a small amount of time organising and decluttering your wardrobe, it won't end up being such a painful task. The processes you'll put in place will enable you to spend your time focusing on other tasks in the morning. If you've managed to get any value from this video, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. However, please don't subscribe to me. I'm not after any more subscribers. If you want to subscribe to someone, subscribe to Matt Diabella. He definitely needs the followers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. No, you're joking. Please subscribe. Please. Hello?